You clicked on this video to learn about storage, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Hi, I'm Soulspawn. Welcome back to Soul Explains. And today, we're going to talk about storage. All the different kinds from very basic storage all the way to fancy redstone storage. So, let's jump into it right now. So, basic storage. You got your chest. That could be turned into a double chest. There's also a trap chest variant of this, which can send redstone signals once opened. There's also barrels. That's a brand new storage, 1.14, I believe. And shulker shells. These ones are really cool because they keep their inventory when they're broken. So lots of useful things can be done with them. Now, my recommendation when using just basic storage like this is to always keep organized. Because yes, it's, it's very simple to just run along and just like start plopping things in like that, right? You don't want to do that. Don't do that. that. That just gives you a big headache later on the road. What I like to do, I like to drag a bunch of items out like that. If I'm going to have multiple items in a chest, I will do it for both items just like that. So that way, you can just shift and click. It'll go into only the, the spots that have the same item in them, right? Shift and click, just like that. Super simple, super organized, no headaches. Let's move on to something more interesting, shall we? We got storage silos. Now, this takes advantage of a little bit of redstone and a bunch of chests. Right here is what it looks like, bare bones, no redstone, just straightforward chests and hoppers. We got your input chest here into some hoppers that go down along the backs of these chests, and it'll start filling up the bottom chest and up. These are really great for storing large bulk items, like single items, such as cobblestone, andesite, maybe packed ice if you found an iceberg or something. Excellent stuff. On this side, we got it all fancied up with redstone and whatnot. We got little indicator lights that tell you how full it is. And the way I got it set up back here, it's a little different. We have the chest set up in such a way where we can take comparator redstone signals from them into the block beside the lanterns so they light up. That's some scary noise. Now, same concept, you put whatever items you want to store in the, the input chest here. And it goes down the hoppers into the chest. Now, this one's not hooked up to a lantern because I wanted it, these lamps to light up when the, the chest is full, if that makes sense. And the way this is set up, if I were to make this the bottom chest, it'd light up as soon as one item's in there. We don't want that. So the first chest has no comparator, and once that's full, and once this chest starts getting stuff in it, it'll let us know that that chest is full, and of course that hopper too, but that's fine. Automatic storage systems. These are beautiful things. My favorite thing to do with storage very simple too. Same concept, you're going to have your input, whatever it may be, a chest, maybe you have some sort of transportation system or item elevator or whatnot, which will be my next topic of Soul Explains in Minecraft. So if you want to see that totally, consider hitting that subscribe button and check out my other stuff too. I like explaining things. But yeah, we got this here. So basically what happens here, we have our hopper line here, and that'll continue as long as our storage system is. And then we have hoppers that collect the items from here. Now how these work is this is blah, blah, blah. Okay, let me start over. Okay, so how these work is this comparator is going to take a signal from this hopper, same with that one for that hopper, and we're going to have items set up in a certain way here so that it'll just be barely not reaching this, the redstone signal. And once an item passes through here, it'll let the sig it'll like uh, shoot a signal down to here, which will 
deactivate this redstone torch through this uh, repeater here and unlock this hopper which will start sucking the items into the chest here and once it goes back down to like the standard number of items in here that will not send the redstone signal all the way down here it locks again so ooh, weather let's um let's uh, show you how this works right so like that like that and it's going to go down all the way to the bare minimum of items which is 18 plus 4 for the other slots and you want to fill up these other slots too so no other item gets through here it'll just be smooth stone for this chest anyway and as you can see it's went through here now we'll take a look at how this redstone works you see that and notice yes it is activating that redstone but this the pulse is not strong enough to re reach that block which will not activate this however there's a problem with this one which is if it were to overload with items in this hopper the redstone signal would be powerful enough to reach that which will cause this hopper here to start dropping its items you don't want that so very easy solution is this one right here you just want to extend the redstone one block more and just give you a good look at how I got this set up here. The redstone torch is going into this block, which will also like power that uh, repeat. Not a, that's not a repeater. That's a hopper. Ah, it will also power that hopper. Like doing the same thing as this, really, just one block longer. All right, so I've done something really cool with an automatic storage system, sorter, whatever. Got the same. Uh, standard auto sorter as we have over there with a little addition for shulker boxes now say you're that's like you'll get your shulker boxes end game right so say you're like wandering around you just collected a whole bunch of materials you have like a whole bunch of shulker shells full of stuff but you you want a super easy way to just get all that stuff into your storage system right well instead of just placing your shulker box and manually plopping all your stuff into your storage system build one of these suckers like this is pretty cool it's a automatic shulker extractor slash breaker thingy i can't remember what to name it but basically you have your chest right here right and i think no i don't we'll just uh plop three shulker shells with I think there's three stacks of black concrete in there, or is it just one? It's just one stack of black concrete. Now, how this works is as soon as you press this button, it'll plop out, this dispenser here will plop out a shulker box right there, and it'll start draining its contents. Over here, I have a comparator hooked up to this hopper, which is going to detect items going through there. There'll be a constant stream of items, right? So it'll turn on. And it'll turn these blocks off, put them down here, right? As soon as this shulker box is empty and this stops receiving items, this hopper here, it'll turn this back on. And in the brief second that these repeaters power up before it sends these blocks up, it'll power those blocks, making this piston break that shulker shell and this place another shulker shell at the exact same time. So it's an automated process of just dropping shulker shells, emptying them, breaking them. And the shulker shell will go through the storage system as well and enter into the designated storage chest, which will probably be the last one because you can't stack shulker shells, so you can't properly filter them. So yeah, make sure your shulker shell chest is the last chest. I am having a trouble, like a very hard time saying shulker shell. Ah, but yeah, just take a good look at this redstone. It took me a while to figure this out. Also, little pro tip, in case your uh, shulker shell breaking area in solid blocks, because they like to fly everywhere, there's still a very small chance that it'll fly through the cracks. Like I've had them in here in this piston like once, but 
just something to be aware of. Maybe you can build some sort of like collection thing underneath there, just in case. Who knows? And last but not least, don't forget to steal items from your friend's storage system. Now, they'll have their building all set up here. You'll walk in, la da 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 da. Ooh, they got some good stuff, right? Good stuff in their newly made automatic storage system. Well, just tunnel underneath their base, make your own little hidey hole. Little bit of a hopper minecart action going on here onto some other hoppers right in there underneath one of their chests. So that way, you'll just instantly steal all their items. Ta-da! And that's storage for you. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it, found it informative. And if you did, please comment and leave a like because that'll help out a whole bunch. Also, consider subscribing if you want to see more because I do a bunch of videos like this. And I have other series going on as well. I've got a multiplayer Minecraft going on, the Voidcraft server, as well as my Soul Lands, like single player uh, experience, whatever. I don't know. And other video games as well. Also, don't forget to check the links in the description. I have my own Discord server. And there's the Voidcraft Discord server as well. So check those out if you're into Discord. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.